Yeah, Brian, there's actually just a lot of excitement that happened within the last 10 minutes. I pulled back up here on the scene and noticed a large amount of police squads uh, just at the uh, garages attached to this apartment building here be behind me. Uh, they were all huddled together. They kind of barged into the building. About five minutes later, they came back out. Some of them did have their long guns out. They kind of huddled together again, all got back in their cars very quickly and sped down the block to about three buildings down. I followed them and they barged into another apartment building and about five minutes later came out empty handed. Now I'm told that they were following up on two separate tips that they received as for if those were tips on uh, where this uh, person of interest was. That's unclear. But now police did respond here to this apartment uh, just after 730 this morning for a report of a shots fired. They say that when they arrived, they found 37 year old Christopher Lucier with a gunshot wound to the leg. They say that Lucier was then transported to Sanford Hospital and is currently in surgery as for his status at this this time that is unclear. Now, police say that the key to this, uh, they don't really know if which one of these men is the victim and which one of them is the suspect. They, they say that's a key detail they're still trying to work out, but they do say that both of the men knew each other and that the shooting is a result of some sort of altercation between the two. Police say that they recovered five shell casings from a small caliber handgun here inside the apartment. They assure the public at this time this seems to be an isolated incident and at this time there is no threat to the public. We'll continue to keep you updated for now. Reporting live in Dilworth, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live.